Stephen Swift again on the Southern. Uh, I, I have to think about where I am for a second. I'm sorry. Southern Utah. Southern Utah's community radio station. Southern Utah. Am I here? Yeah. Southern Utah's yeah. KTIM. KTIM. Yeah, that's where they are. That's what we're doing there. Yes. Yeah. And we have in the studio, like right now. Yes. You can hear them. The Sons of House of Sons. Yes. Still glowing from their victory. Glowing? Glowing. Basking in the glow of their victory at uh, the most recent Rock and Roll Rumble at Jazzy's. I like that. That's good. And, of course, the big event taking place at Jazzy's this Friday. I say again, this Friday, February 7th, getting underway at 7 o'clock. Hoop and Repair. A benefit for Tim Kretzinger, featuring live music from a wealth, an incredible collection of local talent. The Shakers, Salatu Manaval, Lionhead, Beans and Wheels, Ed Cosella, and the lads you're hearing in the background now, House yes. of Sons. Right? Right. I like that. There will be a bake sale. It is an all-ages show. Everyone is welcome. The show gets underway at 7. Jazzy's located, as always, unless they moved it overnight and didn't send me the memo. 285 North Bluff Street here in uh, sure to be sunny St. George. Always sunny. And uh, we will be joined by other members. Uh, Salah is also in the studio this evening. Uh, Beans and Wheels uh, should be joining us a little bit later on. So, uh... Performers that will be on stage uh, this Friday will be joining us as the show progresses this evening. You can log on and uh, listen and watch the magic as it happens live. Live. Courtesy of KTIM TV, we've gone big baby. I don't understand that. Well, when KTIM TV first yeah. took to air, yeah. the very first thing that Tim posted in reference to KTIM TV was, we've gone big baby. That's kind of goofy. So that always that became that immediately became my KTM TV tagline. Yeah, that's kind of goofy, don't you think, Scott? Is that uh, say that again, Scott. Testing. Have you turned the, sh the switch on? Yes. Scott's here. I am here. Scott is here, our video producer extraordinaire. Not, well. not only does uh, Scott run the video for us, he also keeps me apprised of what's hip. You guys world. have been doing a good job of that, Scott. <laughs> I feel like you guys have been getting uh, hipper and hipper, so I don't need that. Thank you. I can feel myself getting hipper and hipper. I can actually feel my hip dislocating. Uh, but, uh, wow. <laughs> you get used to it. Yeah. It pops right back in. It's Sally Forth. Yeah. So, log in. Log, log in, this yes. Epic. This is huge. This is going to be uh, gargantuan. Yeah, here's, here's what we've got. We've got uh, um, benefit. It's hope and repair. A benefit. Uh, for Cri Tim Kretzinger from your friends down south, and uh, it's Friday. It is. It is this Friday, February seventh, and and uh, a big, big thank you. A lot of people have come together and uh, made the uh, donations and contributed uh, to this event, and a big thank you that I couldn't possibly name because uh, it's only an hour show, so I couldn't name everybody. Sounds like a cop out. It is a cop out. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> well, uh, but I just uh, seriously want to thank everybody that's contributed yes. to bringing this together and making this possible, because we are coming together to support a man who has worked incredibly hard for the local music scene for many, 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 many years, and that's what we're all about. We're a community radio yes, station. We we're all about community. So I'm saying, without further ado, without further uh, to do, French. Yeah, I think. And the so, only, yeah. Yeah, I think that what we do is we, we bring in and, and we say, hey, to Scott, what do we say to the guys, to the kids? We say, what's up? What up? What's up? Word. Yeah, For shizzle, manizzle. What, what, do you, what do you say when you tell them that you want them to stop playing? Uh, quit. Cease and desist on the cajon. Very kind. Yeah. <laughs> See, here's the thing is, is Scott... Scott is is the master at the video and stuff. Yeah, and he is their elder. He is their elder, because yeah, because okay. First of all, we've got House and Sons here, um, and what I want to do is say hey to everybody. Move that mic up to you. So, 
if you're watching and crikey, I don't know why you wouldn't be. Well, we no. are. Yeah. Yeah, we're watching yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how's it's very this, uh, disconcerting. Want to want to introduce the guys, and, and it'd be great if you guys introduced yourself. We got Ryan pl- playing bass guitar. You got to get up on that mic, brother. Hello. Do that again. That's a little bit better. Uh, he's Ryan. Yes, he is Ryan. I think we've established that he's Ryan. <laughs> Are you still Ryan? Ryan, what's Are you still Ryan? I'm Ryan mm. Okay. Yeah. I'm not really uh, uh, hearing Ryan through the headphones. Just I, for I heard him before. Mental note. I'm not either. I'm working on that. This is a work in process. It, it is epic. It is. It's so epic. It's still being worked on. Rats. Well, I'd say we move on. Yeah, we've got Ryan. Yes. And we, we next Ryan. to Ryan, Ryan, we have... Ryan's looking good. And then we got Eli. Hi. Yes. Do it again. Hello. That's Eli. That's Eli. And then next to Eli, we have... Jade. I can hear Jade. Well, and, and uh, Jade might be Dave. He, he might be Jade. Did I say... Did he I, might be the Lizard King. Or, did he... Or, I, I, or Jake or... I'm sorry. Did I did I mishear your name? Jade. Jade. It is Jade. Yeah. yeah. You know the I'm sorry. Gordon's trying to throw me off. He does that. You're yeah. You you need to stay focused. I'm trying. Yeah. But this noise from the phone in the back of my ear just keeps. Yeah, and I'm getting emails and so that's do do. Yeah. So, do-do. so we can actually mute mute that. This is an epic show. So, it is epic. So the guys of House of Sons, um, congratulations on your most recent. Uh, victory at Jazzy's. Jazzy's Rock and Roll Rumble. Yes. Thanks. Jade was even up on the table, man. What? Yeah. Now that goes against fire code safety, but, you know, safety be darned. He was up on the table. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's a pretty common occurrence, actually. Good. <laughs> I don't think we encourage that sort of thing here. My parents didn't ever teach me things what not to do, and so... Good. You need to be careful though, because that's how I wound up on crushing. They're here, so we'll have a chance to to like talk with them about that. Yeah, yeah maybe we can get Jade up yeah, on the desk. A nice stern talking to by Gordon is really what they need. Yeah, and stern is what we'll do. Yeah, we're all about stern here. Yeah, and and beatings if necessary. Guy might be here. Reed. That yes. jazzy guy may be here. The other guy, the jazzy guy himself. I hope he brings coffee. Uh, I do too, Reed. I, I really, I can't, I'm really thirsty. Yeah, you're not supposed to be on the table. No. Not it's, unless it's, just, it's not safe. No. And and here's the thing that's going to really suck, is say you guys go and you're you, you would have would have won, the rumble except for that that table incident. Yeah. What if I deducted a few points for you climbing up on the furniture? Hey, this is separate. I'm talking about. Oh, that's fell. right. That, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I yeah. had an experience. Uh, I'm a pretty tall guy, so yeah. I stood up on the middle oh. table where that fan is. Oh, you gotta be careful. Yeah, I, that's how I wound up with no hair. I stuck my head in the fan. Uh, yeah, you gotta be careful about that, sir. Yeah, I th- I think the best thing to do on that, Jade, is uh, is is leave that as a surprise for the kids that come out of the show. Well, it was certainly a surprise. I mean, I'm I'm sitting there eating my sandwich, and all of a sudden he's climbing on the table. I wasn't expecting that. I almost choked on my ham. <laughs> He was coming over for that. He was, yeah. Yeah. Don't come between me and my sandwich. So, um, guys, how do people get a hold of House of Sons? Well, we have a Facebook page, which is House of Sons, S O N S. And we also have an Instagram that's House of Sons Official. They're here now, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought Instagram was just for taking pictures. That's how unhip I am. We got to stay focused, Peter. What? We just like Ryan likes taking pictures of things. We're staying focused. Yeah. Yep. Instagram. Anyway, they can get in touch with you through Instagram yeah. and your Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Well, come to one of our shows. Come, 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 yeah. to, come to the he show. He is. And talk to us. <laughs> he is. Yeah. But, but no, everybody come out. When's the next time that you perform? The next time we perform is Friday. Friday. This Friday. Nice. nice. Friday, which right. allows us to segue over to. Right. But we got, we got times, times of. Yeah. Time's a waste. Yeah, at that other place, they give you like three minutes, and we're we're like eight. <laughs> Gonna speed it up. Right there, you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So here we are. Let's let we got performers here. We got we, yes. We got Ed Cosiello on deck. We do. 
He's like practice swinging and stuff. Yeah, he's ready so, to go. He's in, he's in the warm up. Yeah. He's in the batting circle. And, he's and ready. And we to go. got Beans and Wheels that are here, and we got Sal Tamanaval, and then we got uh, Wire Elephant coming by. So let's go really quickly here. Um, this Friday, seven o'clock, Jazzy's Rock and Roll Grill, two eighty five North Bluff Street, starts at seven o'clock with House of Sons. The Shakers, Sala, Lionhead, Beans and Wheels, Ed Costello, House of Sons. Yeah, so I'm I'm going to say the the way they're going to perform because you just did it. Oh, you know that you know the actual performing. Uh... Yeah, the headliner is always the first. Okay. Yeah, so we're starting at seven o'clock. House of Sons. I'm helping you out here. Yes, I appreciate yeah. it. Yes, yes, I need all the help I can get. You're welcome. So House of Sons is going to perform at seven o'clock. Be there, be there early. Um, Jazzy's is a small room. And uh, House of Sons is going to be about a 20 minutes at 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's all just going to be good it, that you get oh. in and you listen to them. And you go, wow, these guys are good. I'm going to come see them somewhere. And you don't want to miss him climbing on the table. You know, you don't want to get there late and find I out. I feel obligated, yeah. Peter. Yeah, I don't I'm, think you should. I feel obligated. I'm pressuring no, you not, now. Not at, not at the benefit. <laughs> I, we, do, we have no time to do another one for when you fall. <laughs> so, like okay, so then tables. after that, it's going to be Ed Cosiello. Yes. Which we're going to hear. He's on deck. He's on deck. He's yeah. warming up. He, he may walk if we don't, yeah. Yeah. He, okay. And then we got Beans and Wheels performing yes. after that. They're going to be performing about 8 o'clock. Um, then we got Lionhead, which is their fourth performance they've had. And they have a new CD that's coming out. Very nice. Yes. That's Ella, Alice Erickson and uh, Jared Johnson. And then we've got Sala Tamanaval. Yes. Who's in the house. Who's doing a very nice job of running the laptop, by the way. Thank you, Sala. Good. And then we got the Shakers. Shakers uh, coming up from L.A. Um, fabulous band. They're they're doing this whole thing for free. They're on their own dime, the kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And special thank you to uh, the Marriott Hotel Group who has uh, donated a room for them. Two Very rooms. nice. Two rooms. Very nice. Okay, so here we go back to House of Sons. Yes, guys, I want to hear something. If you would play a song for us, please introduce what it is, and uh, yeah. Let's have the magic here. And kick it, as the, the kids say. The song is called Pull My Trigger, Not. and it's, it's, it's all about uh, the bleeding of emotion and about how when there's a reservoir inside you of something, denying it will only fester it deeper. Wow. Now, now wait. Okay. Your ages. <laughs> oh, I'm 16. I yeah, 16. so Jade's 16. Mm-hmm. And Eli's, Eli's 16, right? And I'm 15. So oh, it's nice. it's a what? It's about a reservoir or what? It's, it's about it's about. <laughs> yeah, don't use big emotion. words, man. I get confused. <laughs> it's about reservoir. It's about bleeding emotion. <laughs> bleeding. bleeding. I can emotions. understand bleeding. Yeah. Bleeding emotion. Emotion. I'm British. I don't feel anything. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, so I can't awesome. believe that you're 16 and you're writing something about bleeding. And we've got a writer on deck here. He's. He, I do you have. We'll, we'll talk about Have you got any songs about so, Reservoirs, Ed? Yeah, we'll work on that. He's on deck. Yeah, all right. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. We're having a lot of fun, obviously, um, and it's House of Sons playing. Which song again is it? Pull, Pull My Trigger. Trigger. Pull My Trigger. Oh, it's stereo. <laughs> and sorry to make light of your song. Don't even worry about it. I, just no, can't, I, I didn't think about that. Song. No, we're not, we're not making light of the song. We're just having fun here. Yes, as we're going to have on Friday night. Hey, man, Come there. Be there early, yeah. 7 o'clock. Yeah. House of Sons kicking it off. <laughs> I don't, you know, let's pull my trigger or something. Okay. <laughs> All right.
the shotgun I ain't shy Pull my trigger That was deep. I, I get it. I get it. That was oh, deep. Now do you understand the Reservoir reference, Gordon? Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was House of Sons. Loved it. Kicking off the Hope and Repair, um, a benefit for Tim Kretzinger from your friends down south. It's going to be Friday. It's at 7 o'clock at Jazzy's Rock and Roll Grill. Guys, tell everybody how they can get a hold of you again, please. You can get a hold of us on Facebook, House of Sons, S-O-N-S. Or you can get a hold, or you can you can find us on Instagram, House of Sons Official. Love it, because I do notice a few people on Facebook d- get the Suns wrong. It is S O N S, yeah, not Sun as in in Sky. Sons and daughters. Yes. Good job, lads. Love it. Thank you very much for coming in. Have a great show this Friday. We will be there. We're going to be recording this. Um, we are accepting, and, and I say we, sorry, I need to separate myself right now. Yes, I, please separate on, yourself, Gordon. I am, on, yep. <laughs> I am on KTIM, the scene. However, I'm also hosting the benefit Very on nice. Friday. Thank you, yeah, Gordon. So, so for the benefit, we are, they are, the benefit is accepting donations still. Yes. You can donate on, well, we're not soliciting. So anyway, you can go. Um, All donations Facebook. will be welcome. And, and why wouldn't they be? Yes. Okay, so, gentlemen, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming in, taking the time to be here. And, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to segue. We're going to move and uh, have you guys. It's a revolving door. It is. If you could clear the building now, please, lads. We don't have to clear the building so much. As <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, let's just give our yeah. friend Ed. All right, a, a don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay. And uh, Ed, Ed is uh, warming up. Ed will be uh, playing some music for us momentarily. And just a reminder, again, Friday, that's this Friday, February 7th, at uh, Jazzy's Rock and Roll Grill, 285 North Bluff Street here in St. George. An all-ages show. Hope and repair from your friends down south. A benefit for Tim Kretzinger. Tim Kretzinger, you all know Tim from uh, Groovacious. He's the driving force behind uh, Groove Fest now in its 12th year. And all uh, the following artists will be taking the stage that night. Uh, the Shakers, Salatumanaval, Lionhead, Beans and Wheels, Ed Cosella, and the lads you just heard, House of Sons. The show gets underway at 7. It's an all-ages show. Once again, Jazzy's at 285 North Bluff Street here in uh, Shore to Beach, Sunny St. George. Yes. And uh, Ed is... Uh, just situating himself. How are you this evening, Ed? There's a phone. Thank you. It needs to happen. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. House of Sons, everybody. It's a great show. There, you're kicking Incredibly it off. Incredibly talented for, for one so show. young. Yes. Yes. 
15 and uh, 16 and 16, respectively, which makes me feel incredibly inadequate. That was very respectful, though. You're incredibly old here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wasn't writing songs about reservoirs when I was 16, Gordon. I don't know about you, but... Oh, I, I, I was like, I think, eight. <laughs> when you started? Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty cool stuff in what they were doing. Oh, they, uh, fabulous stuff. I thought I really enjoyed listening to them. Really. 16. I know. Uh, I couldn't even tie my shoelaces at 16, but I can't do it now. Yeah, let alone string again. Yeah. How are things in your world, Ed? They're going well. How about you? Good. It's nice to see you. Thanks for coming in this evening. Oh, it's my pleasure. And uh, thanks for being part of the big show on Friday. Well, you know, we all love Tim. We go back a long ways from when I was up in Cedar City, and we, we got to know him when he opened up Gruvacious up there. It's a great Which is now, uh, has celebrated 12 years. Yeah. That's, yeah, Groove Fest. This is the 12th year. Yeah. A groove fest and amazing and, and Ed. So, so you were here as a writer. Yes. And then I, I just want to throw a little background out here because I've never met Ed. I wasn't sure he existed. I saw his picture <laughs> and I read his articles and stuff. And then next thing I know, he moves to Mexico. Wow. As one would, as we all do from time to time. Well, the phantom, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As a writer, I guess you can do that anywhere you want. Yeah. Now, did living in Mexico uh, lead to a wealth of uh, writing? Did it was it a creative outlet for you uh, spending time in Mexico? Oh, it absolutely was. Can't wait to get back there. Um, we were we were on the Sea of Cortez, and you know, uh, actually walking some of the streets where Steinbeck and Hemingway were. Wow. Uh, you know, Steinbeck did uh, log from the Sea of Cortez. And, wow. Uh, Hard not to feel inspired when you're walking in the steps of uh, Steinbeck, is it? <laughs> Boy, there were times when you just go back and sit down. And go, Mm. <laughs> and don't touch it for a while because it's like, oh man, you know, because you're walking into some of the same footsteps, and and it's just truly inspiring but very humbling. Yeah, very humbling. And how how long were you there? About eighteen months. We were about we were about eighteen months down there, and came back to do some work, you know, promo PR on the, on the book plagues, and finished up the other book, the the rock and roll memoir book, and from when I was a rock critic in Los Angeles. And how's that? How's that? Uh, how's that going for you? That, that book. I'm seeing some wonderful postings on uh, Facebook in reference. It's going to well. It's good. It's going well. You good. Know, we're um, we're building an audience, and and uh, you know, if you were a rocker back in that era, you know, we we talk about some people from Springsteen and and Petty to you know an old friend George Harrison, and so you know, there's some memoirs in there. Some good. Some. Fuzzy, <laughs> some <laughs> yeah, a little bit weird, but yeah, it was it was an incredible time, you know, and and uh, it, it was it was really interesting. I'm actually uh, all kidding. I'm actually distantly related to George Harrison. You are. I kid you not. Yeah, that's like seven degrees of separation, isn't it? Y yeah. Well, you see, my my uh, my father's sister married a Harrison, who down the line is connected to George. It rocked is the name of the book. Recollections of a reclusive rock critic. Yeah, Ed, Ed has, uh, he's donated each of his books for the, um, the fundraiser. Very the fundraiser, nice. And they are signed copies. So Very nice. So you darn well better give that back. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be able to get it on yeah. my grubby little hands now. Ed, do you have uh, uh, a story of, of Tim? I know you, you're very close with Tim and Lisa. Um, is there anything that pops into mind? I'm just completely putting you on the spot, by the way. Yeah, is there no pressure. Anything that com that that comes to mind that that is uh, like something you want to share that you can share on this community family friendly radio <laughs> that's governed by the FCC? And that's not too fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, working up there at the newspaper uh, when when Gruvacious opened up, you know. It, it was, okay, go check it out, see what's going on in town and whatever. Gruvacious is, a, is the record store it's that the they record own, store independent. In City. Yeah, they sell vinyl, all and kinds of stuff. You, you walk, walk into the place, and, you know, for those of us of a certain age, you know, we that remember walk. the old <laughs> record store. <laughs> like me. You know, where you could go in, and it was yeah. lined with vinyl and posters and pictures and, you know, alternative newspapers. And the guy behind the counter knew every song that was ever recorded. Yeah. could tell you who did it, you know, when, what their temperature was and what they had for lunch, yeah. you know. And, and, and it was like, whoa, this is pretty cool. Um, walked in, introduced myself, met Tim and Lisa, 
and uh, it was a throwback to those times, you know, and that, that era when, when you could walk into a record store and, and you were excited because the new Beatles album was coming out or the new Stones album or whatever, you know, and the guy behind the counter would help you to went the next album that yeah. you wanted was going to be there. So it, it, it was kind of like that, and it was warm and friendly, and you, you, it, it took about 30 seconds to realize that um, what Tim and Lisa were selling was not records, it was Tim and Lisa. And culture, you know, I mean, it's, you walk, my impressions of walking into to Groovacious is, first of all, when, when you're at a place that is very eclectic, um, vinyl, old, old vinyls, and incense burning. Nice. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and so you walk in, it's it's a very welcoming place. And Not too close to the vinyl, I hope, otherwise it melts. No, no, no. And there are just rows of stuff. And I, I would imagine that, that you could probably go through there and just grab something randomly and say, oh, what's this about, Tim? Yeah. Lisa? Well, and I've done that. And, and you know, I, I can remember walking in, and I had somehow had this old, remember Doug Somm, you know, Sir Doug Quintet, mm-hmm. back from mm-hmm. way, way back. Anyway, I had this this kind of an eclectic old performer from my day and uh, walked in and I was going, man, I can't find anything anywhere. I'm, I'm really looking for some of this cool old stuff. And he goes, oh, yeah. Um, well, he has this collection and it's a double CD thing and um, I don't have it. I sold the last one about three months ago. <laughs> Not a big song. But he, uh, he said, I can get it for you overnight. And he did, you know. I mean, anything that you wanted. And then walking through, it was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that in 100 years, and I need to replace it. He had, wow. he had a little bit of everything for you, you know, and, and uh, kind of, kind of um, understood what about people's that? taste <laughs> I just got wow. a massive reverb on us. All right. Sorry about that. But you sounded epic. You did. I've got it under control now. Sorry. What about, uh, can you help me out with some 8-tracks? No. Could he help you out with some 8-track? You know, um, I'm, I'm sure that somewhere in that store there's an 8-track or two. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, yeah, just just go and look for the big old clunky things in the back there, you know. It is amazing how, how the world has changed. I mean, in the record store that I used to go to in England, when, when uh, CDs finally started to hit, there, there was half a row where you, you literally had four CDs to choose from and the rest was vinyl. And now... Yeah. You're really dating yourself now. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm 40, you, I, you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s, man. But, you know, there's, there's, there's kind of a turnaround kind of happening, you know, and, and more and more uh, of today's artists are going, let's go back to some mm-hmm. warmer vinyl sound, you know. I think, I think Pearl Jam kind of started turning some right. things around and, and uh, started releasing some things in vinyl and, 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 and bringing it back into, into something fashionable and, 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 you know, what people really enjoy. So there, there's a lot of vinyl in the store, trust me. And I, I, when I listen to vinyl now, there is something very soothing about the sort of snap, crackle, and pop that the, the vinyl has. I found myself really uh, sentimental about it now. Well, there's, and actually, because it was all analog instead of digital, there was a there was a certain warmth in the in the recording process. You know, they were going on to tape instead of just going into bytes and bits and whatever. Yeah. And, and there was a certain certain kind of a, a warmth that, mm-hmm. that was built into the process. Um, now it's it's very clean. You get incredible separation and layering and whatever you want. But part of what part of what um, rock and roll and music and all that back then was was you know uh, some feeling of spontaneity, some feeling of warmth. Like like when you put an album on, you wanted to feel like the guys were playing in your living room or wherever you were listening yeah. to it. I um, we're doing a couple of sound things here. Um, do you have a song that? You sure. can prepare for us. And by the way, you're listening to KTIM 95.3 FM uh, with Ed Cosiella, who is going to be performing this Friday at uh, Jazzy's Rock and Roll Grill as part of the uh, Hope and Repair Benefit for Tim Kretzinger from your yeah, friends. And, and just on a really, really serious note, um, you know, we, we have some tremendously deep, warm feelings for Tim and Lisa. And we did hear some good news today, by the way. Oh, good. Um, that... Uh, the cancer that was found in his neck was not metastasized. Nice. So, you know, you, you, you take your victories where you can and you go, okay, now next step, you know, get up and running again, Tim. Let's, let's, let's get well. Let's be, let's be well. Yeah. That's, that's the best news that we could hope for. Yeah. 
fantastic. Congratulations. So this one's kind of a kind of a song that's sort of about faith and hope and Jerry Garcia used to say it was a particularly holy song. If my words did glow With the gold of sunshine And my tunes were played On a harp unstrung Would you hear my voice Come through the music Would you hold As it were your own, it's a hand-me-down The thoughts are broken Perhaps they're better left unsung I don't know Don't really care Let there be songs to fill the air. Ripple in still water where there is no pebble tossed, no wind to blow. Reach out your hand. If your cup is empty If your cup is full May it be again Let it be known There is a fountain That was not made No simple highway between the dawn and the dawn of night. And if you go, no one may follow that path. Your steps alone Ripple in still water Where there is no pebble tossed No wind to blow You who choose To lead must follow but if you fall, you will fall alone. If you should stand, then who's to guide you? If I knew the way, I would take you home. Da -da 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 -da.
Thank you. Nice. Nicely what, what done, did, Ed. What, what would you say to that, Peter? That was quite beautiful. Really, I really, I was. That was very. Touching. Very relaxing. It was. Yeah. Very, very nicely done, Ed. Thank you. Thank Ed, you. thank you very much for coming in. Oh, it's um, my pleasure. You guys, uh, this Friday, it's going to be epic. Um, it's at Jazzy's Rock and Roll Grill. Uh, it is the Hope and Repair a Benefit for Tim Kretzinger, who we found out today that uh, uh, the, the cancer cells have not spread. I am so relieved. That is wonderful. All of nature. Southern Utah is breathing a, a nice sigh of relief. If you're out there, and Tim, get well, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. And not only, uh, not only will you Pick get the chance. Yes, not only will you get the chance to hear Ed on Friday, you also have an opportunity to get your hands on his books. Yeah, yeah, Polygs and It Rocked. Thanks, guys. Love it so much. Thanks for coming in, Ed. My pleasure. Yeah. Right, we've got uh, bees and wheels in the warm-up circle. And uh, Johnny Van will be on stage at Jazzy's this evening. George, George, is, I'm sorry. Oh, there's so much to keep track of. You can't pour a gallon of knowledge into a shot glass of a brain without there being some spillage. Uh, and of course, no, I know. I've kept it in the dark. I'm like a mushroom. And, uh, and that, let, Gordon, uh, your lads will be. Uh, yeah, they're, on not, stage. they're not exactly my lads. Well, no, no. They're, they're their own men. They are their own men. I meant that in, you know, purely platonic sense. Oh, but yeah, I just didn't want to take ownership no, yeah. of, of them. Less the Lucid will be... Uh, at the firehouse. Very nice. And what, well, t- what time is that, that show? Well, it kicks off at, at 9 o'clock with a special guest artist, uh, Sala Messina, Tina Tamanva. Ooh. Who just also happens to be in the studio this evening. Yes. Woot woot. She'll be coming up here in a moment. Yes. But part of the big show on Friday. And, of course, uh, we've been joined by Beans and Wheels. How are you, Beans and Wheels? Very good. It's always very nice to see you. <laughs> well, we're there we go. Be here anyway. There we go. <laughs> Whether you can hear us or not. It's very nice to, to see you and hear you. Same to you. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, being part of the big show on Friday. We're keeping some lovely company this evening and on Friday. Really looking forward to it. It ought to be a spectacular star-studded uh, evening. It, it's going to be a lovely evening. Yeah, star-studded. That's good times had by all, no doubt. And in honor of an excellent fellow, we were very, very pleased to have made the connection with Tim last year at some point. we, I think it was a social media connection, and he then... Lined us up for Groove Fest, and it was the biggest sh- crowd we've ever played to. Yes. We had so much fun. You are a Groove Fest alum yeah. now. Yes, it was a blast. So we're grateful Very to cool. Tim and glad to do a little bit to give back for that amazing task that so. he helped us complete and a big step in our Southern Utah musical journey. Thanks to Tim. Good. Yeah, and we had uh, Peter Gunn, had, uh, and we, we talked about this. He, he's like the godfather. He is. <laughs> without the horse head. Yeah, without he, yeah, he'll make it all for you. Can't it. refuse. You, do, you don't have to worry about. No, it. you don't have to worry about, about things under the blanket. But um, no, he because he has worked so hard for local music for so many years, and he's the driving force behind Groove Fest. I mean, obviously, he has a team of people that that uh, also help him put that together, and many, many thanks to them. But he has been the driving force behind it for years. Uh, Groove uh, Groovacious, of course, in Cedar City. Yep. A big, big uh, local uh, music store, which Ed was just talking about. Yeah, independent. It's all got all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, hopefully, we'll have some beans and wheels here soon. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, I mean, in, in his in record the, store. Oh st- well. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're recording with John yeah. Houston and Hurricane and. Oh my goodness, is he ever a genius? His, you might have heard right before the scene his work on Sala's song the "Storm" that was incredible. I'm so excited every time I hear that. I'm like, I love John Houston and I love Sala. It's amazing to hear that magic come together. And yeah, we've just been having so much fun getting our tracks ready. And you can check them out on Reverb Nation. Just link to throughbeansandwheels.com. You'll find our Reverb Nation link there. Very nice. We've got, uh, we're going to need to to move along and have a song. We've got, uh, if you would please, we've got um, also the, the guys from Wire Elephant. Wow. 
Yeah. We, we can't go. miss them. We got to save them time. They're yeah. one of my favorites. I can't really pick favorites because that wouldn't be fair, but we've got to save some time because you need to hear Why Our Elephant. Yes, you do. And, and right now we're going to hear some Beans and Wheels. What are you guys going to play? It's called Shades of Grey. It's the newest one we've been working on in the studio. It's just about done. It's actually waiting for Gordon. So we won't talk about that now. Yeah, I'm getting there. It's all on you, Gordon. I'm trying. I'm trying to get here, and then I'm trying to get there, and I'm going to do some, some conga thing here. So let's, uh, if you would please just go through that progression a little bit. Let me get the sound dialed in. This is epic. We have people coming and going and stuff. With my own two eyes, I've seen the world touch the sky. But in my world, the skies are gray every single day. And with my own two eyes, I've seen the good life pass me by. I sat and watched as she walked in and walked away again. She passed me. Passed me by I see two shades of gray In between what could be I see two shades of gray That separate me I see two shades of gray In between what could be I see two shades of gray that separate me, separate me. With each passing moment I think about yesterday, I spend every sleepless night thinking about yesterday. With this broken heart, days are long, a little harder. The stars that used to shine so bright shine a little less every night. They shine so bright, they shine so bright. I see two shades of gray in between what could be. I see two shades of gray that separate me. I see two shades of gray in between what could be. I see two shades of gray that separate me. Separate me. Separate me. Separate me Good times roll on without me Good times roll on without me Good times roll on Good times roll on Good times roll on Very nice. Very nice. Shades of Grey, Beads and Wheels. Always nice to see you. And, of course, they'll be part of the big show on Friday, February 7th. It's epic. It's going to be epic. Uh, It is epic right now. The epicness that you're feeling now is nothing in compared to the epicness that will be experienced on Friday, February 7th at 7. Yeah, at uh, Jazzy's Rock and Roll Grill and at George's Corner. Yes. Where Wire Elephant will be performing. And the lads of Wire Elephant, are they loitering in the lobby as I speak? 
Uh, that's kind of uh, an accusation. No loitering in the building, please. No loitering in the building. There's a sign. So, uh, the last time I saw you, uh, Beans and Wheel, you were both a bit under the weather. Is uh, you feeling all right now? You're Much better. Good, good. I was a bit, a bit concerned about you last time. You were a bit... Uh, bit yes, poorly, as we used to say. we're spectacular now. We've got one on the way, so I have my days where he has to put up with me that I'm <laughs> not exactly under the weather, just, you know, she's imminent. So we've oh, got three more months of oh, the bun in the oven, and then very, we'll, we'll bring the, nice. the little bean into the oh, studio. <laughs> It'll oh, be a good time. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, well, congratulations. I look forward to Thank meeting you. the little bean. I really do. Thank you. Yes, it'll, it'll be very pleasant. Not to yes. steal any thunder, though. I really want to see everybody out on Friday night. It should be oh, a blast. Yeah. I'm even going to bring some teenagers that I own. Some or teenagers? Follow me around that and she owns. <laughs> that she owns. Where do you get a good teenager these days? Oh, I didn't say they were good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we'll, we'll be there in force and just excited to be a part of this and really appreciate the Very honor nice. to and be able to take care of Tim. And, and you take uh, care of us. You and uh, in all seriousness, you guys have been incredibly supportive of the local music scene. Uh, since you since you came into town, so thank you for that. I mean, well, you're you're it's always been good out there. To us too. You're at the shows. You suit up. You show up, and you show your support for others, and that's a wonderful thing. So thank you for that. And, well, thank you. And where do you play next? I, I mean, other than Friday. Other than Friday, we've got Brian Head coming up on the fifteenth, Saturday the fifteenth at three p.m. If you're up, happen to shred on your board, or you know, taking the moguls no. on your skis, or whatever it is that people do up there in the snow, yeah. we'll be warm inside the saloon playing at from three to six p.m. Shred on your board. Shred. I don't even understand what that yeah, is, Gordon. I, well, I don't get out much. English. The yeah, Scott, uh, there's no board out? shredding where I'm from. I don't know what goes on in this Scotty town. Scotty Mickelson will help you with this. Yeah. It's good on a biscuit. <laughs> oh, ride the board. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Because I have a cheese shredder at home, but... Um, okay. Anywho. Yeah. Okay, so... So we've got wire elephant uh, loitering. Yes, we've got... Solid we've got Salah elephant. ready uh, in the so, uh, warm-up circle, ready to go. So you're going to have to, like, you know... You Banter some a little more. Bit. Well, we switch things around because it's epic. It is epic. We've got ten it's like Grand Central epicness. Station up in here. We have ten minutes of epicness. Good Lord. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always lovely to see you. Congratulations on the little bean. I very much look forward to seeing the little bean. <laughs> and uh, have fun in Brian Head. Be careful with the board shredding. All right, please, always uh, wear your helmet when uh, shredding any boards, kids, for your own safety. Don't wipe out. No, 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 please. No. I'll crash and burn. And uh, just on a programming note, a quick reminder that once the epicness of this show uh, wraps up, uh, Ryan will be on hand with uh, Hagen for the Untitled Jazz Show. Going to be talking about a brand new album, actually. Very nice. Um, in does case does you... Have a name? Well, I... Uh, yeah. yeah. I couldn't... Can you mention any I, names? I couldn't uh, explain what the name is over the air because uh, there are symbols and stuff in the title that don't actually have Is it a Prince album? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Didn't Coldplay do that last year with their album? It's like a parentheses arrow pointing to the left and then two dashes and then arrow pointing to the right and then a right parentheses. I feel old. Title. I feel so old right now. <laughs> so that'll be coming up after the epicness of the scene. Sala is ready to regale you with her musical yeah. Awesomeness. So, Solid, Solid to Bonneville, how do people find out about your music? You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash tribe of Sala, Solid to Bonneville. Um, and uh, you can find my music on SoundCloud, Reverb Nation. I've also got music videos on YouTube and um, lots of other exciting stuff to come. And what's, uh, uh, other than Friday, what, what do you also have on the horizon? Um, I will be featuring with Less Than Lucid on Saturday night. At the firehouse. At the firehouse. Nice. Um, and I have a bunch of shows coming up that I can't name off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, there's a, gaggle. a gaggle of performances. A gaggle of performances, yes. Okay. All right, well, um, so people can find you on Facebook. Um, yeah, you've got a gaggle. People can come out and see you Friday night. It's, that's not a bad thing. No, no, it's a very, it's a very <laughs> nice yeah, it's gaggle. A gaggle. Really, it's a lovely so, gaggle. Yeah, it's the nicest gaggle I've ever seen. So what are you going to perform? Uh, this is a new song that I just wrote. I'm going to play it for you guys. What is it? 
It's called The Storm Reprise. Ooh. It actually doesn't have a name. Reprise? Reprise? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's Amon Val, everybody. KTIM 95.3 FM. Still have time to lock in and watch. We got Wire Elephant on deck. KTIM.org. It's amazing. Salut to Manaval. Thank you so much for coming in, dear. I wish we had more time to chat, but we've got to get the lads of Wire Elephant in here. Yes. Salut will be part of the big show on Friday, getting underway at 7 at Jazzy's 285 North Bluff Street. The benefit, hope and repair for Tim Kretzinger. Thank you, Salah. And the lads of Wire Elephant have stopped loitering in the lobby and are now filing into the studio. Hello. How are you, Brent? How are things in the world of Wire Elephant? They are awesome. Good. Good. Always a pleasure to see you. Yep. We're, uh, we're playing Friday night at George's. 
Very nice. <clears throat> and then Saturday night, we're closing off the first, first round of Battle of the Bands. Very nice. And what time is the uh, big show at George's? Um, I believe there will be music Man, there's from stuff. about yeah. 5.30 to... Yeah, we got a guy in town, uh, Mike Christiansen, who is uh, f- uh, a former university uh, or in Logan, Utah State. University, uh, it's it's a logo. He's been to school. We can we can say. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, school. he's educated. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but Anywho. but he does clinics and and he's traveling and he's here. There's a clinic going on that's at uh, the university, so it's all good. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks for coming in tonight, lads. Yeah, thanks for having us. Always a pleasure to see you. Yeah. And uh, what are you gonna hit us with? Uh, we're gonna play a song called Jessica. Wire Elephant on K Tim the Scene. Check, check, you can hear me? Cool. The sound of your voice, yeah, it's in my head. The smell of your skin, it's on my breath again.
right, everybody. Outstanding. Hey, yeah, that was Wire Elephant. Uh, they will be performing at George's this Friday night. Um, yeah, they're part of the benefit, uh, Hope and Repair. Thank God, wonderful news that Ed Cosiella gave us earlier today. That, yes. Uh, the, the test came back probably the most favorably that we could hope for. Absolutely wonderful still news. Still has a lot ahead of him and uh, still could use our love and support. Um, KTIM is all about community. Um, man, Groove Fest, these guys, they're up there. They're doing stuff that, that is just absolutely amazing. Twelfth year of, of Groove Fest. So I uh, heard some great artists tonight. It was a lovely evening. Thank you to everybody epic. that came in. Epic. Yes. Truly epic. Big um, thank you to everybody. Yes. And, and a big thank you to the show that has no name that's going to be coming up for letting us extend once again. Yeah, we're constantly bumping into, on the jazz show. Uh, yeah, into their, their whole thing. Scott, what do you got to say? Good job. Oh, say that again, Scott. No. Good job. Wow. Can you, can you say that in German? Good job. That's German. Uh, 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 you need to study a bit harder with your German there, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I mean, well, I don't know much, but... Uh, most of them speak... I think it's English. I, I There mm. are words that don't translate. Yeah. Tell me about it. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. Especially in radio. radio. Yeah. <laughs> especially in radio. There are seven of them that don't translate. All right, all right kids. We're out of here. Yes. Uh, KT on the scene is Peter Gunn, is Scott Mickelson. I'm Gordon Strang. Man, we heard from House of Sons. Huge, huge thank you. House of Sons, Ed Kosiella, Beans and Wheels, Sala Tamanaval. Um, and then also we have Wire Elephant. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to coordinate a phone call with the Shakers. Uh, they are headlining. They're from L.A. They're coming up. This is a band you got to see. Yes, I'm very much. They did everything. They, uh, they just uh, got invited to play uh, South by Southwest. In Outstanding. And they're yes. coming down here to be a part of this benefit on their own dime. Yes. So a big, big thank you to everyone that's a big part of this show. Uh, you know, we are a community radio station, and we're coming together as a community for Tim Kreitzinger. Yep. On Friday, February 7th at 7 at Jazzy's, 285 North Bluff Street. And Tim Saint Porter, you're, you're out there in Mexico. Hopefully you don't lose your passport if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be yeah, you, mate. Yeah, right. Sucks right. to be you. <laughs> All right, everybody. KJM 95.3 FM. Thanks for listening. KTIM, your source for local music. This is Seals with Burnt Eyes.